Friends, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to today's celebration of our womanhood and friendship. In celebration of the International Women's Month, the women of faith from various religious traditions have come together to honor womanhood as one of the God's greatest gifts to humanity. We can collaborate and work together to continue to nurture and strengthen those around us by fortifying the fabric of our commitment to love, to promote peace and unity as we work with our faith communities and extend the help to those around us. We are celebrating Women's Day. I am really, really happy after the pandemic to have these discussions, connections, and feel the presence of God. Today's gathering from your invitation focuses on gender equality. Women are more comfortable expressing love, compassion, and empathy. We wish that the world will always see peace and love. What do you think is the unique attribute of our coming together as women of faith? Kababaihan tungo sa buhay na ganap, kasiyasiya at pagkakaisa. We women can be a powerful force for change in the world. Convergence, collaboration, partnership, dialogue, education towards self-reliance to combat poverty and gender inequality. It all starts at home, and this is how we overcome and teach the self-reliance and inspire, and we'll have future leaders. Mga kababaihan, ilaw ng tahanan, nagbibigay pag-asa sa komunidad at sa bayan. God created us men and women in His image and likeness. We owe respect to others and to ourselves. In situations of discrimination, this is my lifelong lesson, flex and forgive and move forward. There is no limit to what we can do for peace. So ladies, let's move. The future of the church in Asia rests in the love and care and service of how we live with our women of faith in Asia.